They will attack on sight here.
dog. I'll kill you! I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. Our brothers have the look of reavers. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt in the walls of Lindsay. Prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? Your elderman is long past the days of good conversation. Yet still, he makes good company. I've been instructed to wash and prepare his earthly vessel. Instructed by whom? Soldiers. They brought him here as he protested, feebly. I did my best to make him comfortable, until he slipped away. Unvolt deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. 
All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Humboldt will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain, last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! 
You silly, sobbing moon calf. Will you never grow up? Lord, have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title is not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe. As will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire, and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word, if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. Gathram! Fluga! Fluga! With Hunbiol's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Nadja went to console him. I should follow her. Archer, where is Humboldt? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Humboldt loved you like family, and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oaths and ale work better than your prayers and saints. I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him.
Sunin, guide me. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here together. Here, upon the... <laughs> Hello? Eivor? Is that you? Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... 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 The view. Let's have a drink, to the memory of your father. Here we go, oh, sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. She has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come, and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full... Why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced. 
but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Hide or fight you won't! Now! You won't escape! Father, give me strength. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. She is. Oh. 
I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I am fine, my love. I wilt it without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire Moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. Eivor, I'm pleased you came.
Welcome to my estate, old friend. Fain Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremoots. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this Shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the Shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. Sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> Ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely! The bear's lair should be nearby. Ah! My old friend Grimm! How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes. And how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well. And itching for a hunt, as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry.
This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not good. Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. Returned. The Shire Moot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! Don't create 
Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Oh. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisk. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say, unreservedly, that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. 
Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shiremoot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjor, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. This Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! One's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The ultimate seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. You won't be far.
we should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Disciples, homine, vi, fishmonger, set with a long come.